Hey INFJs, it's Eric Dorr here. And you know, the truth is INFJs as introverted, intuitive feeling and judging types as introverted and judging types primarily tend to be very, very responsible. INFJs are described as some of the most dependable and so INFJs like to honestly be in control. Now this is a, in many ways positive quality and something that INFJs should feel very, very proud of. However, it does come with its problems. In this video, I want to give a warning to INFJs, and that is because INFJs often feel like they are very good at reading other people and determining other people's emotions and actions, because INFJs are really good at predicting behavior and what people are going to do, INFJs sometimes make the mistake of thinking that they know other people better than themselves. The advice I want to give you in this video is, as an INFJ, to never decide for another person how they feel about you or about life in general. INFJs may sometimes make reads about other people, you know, this person doesn't like me, or this person isn't happy, or this person is going through this, or this person is experiencing that. And while these things might be accurate, most of the time it's better to learn to let other people own their own emotions and experiences. What I mean with this is, as a young INFJ, you might feel an urge to, because you know how another person is feeling, because you pick up on their emotions, to want to go out and help them correct themselves, or you might want to take certain actions. Perhaps if you feel like somebody is uh, being malicious, you might want to avoid them or get away from them. Perhaps if you feel like another person doesn't like you, you might want to distance yourself from them. Perhaps if you feel like, uh, a uh, person is going through a difficult time, you might want to go and help them feel better. But there is one thing you need to do before you do any of these things, and that is ask the other person. Be honest with the other person. Take the time to talk to the other person. That means go up to the other person and ask them, how are you feeling about me? Do you really like me? And don't be afraid to also explain why you'd say that. What made you think that way, you know? What was it that made you feel like you weren't really liked by the other person? Or if you feel like the other person was behaving maliciously, this is a really difficult thing to do, especially if you value harmony. But to talk to the other person and to say, hey, when you did this, this really gave me the wrong vibe. Or when you said that, that really gave me a bad, mean, uh, like a bad feeling. What did you mean with that? The truth is, you know, Perhaps you're right. Perhaps the other person really is intentionally malicious and perhaps they're really doing something bad. But the truth is people are kind of complicated and they kind of do bad things sometimes. You know, people are both born with the capacity to do good and bad. So uh, the truth is you might also want to check in with the other person to get an idea and to get a more in-depth version of your read. Introverted intuition is a powerful force and it allows you to understand things without necessarily having to go out and gain the experience to understand those things in reality. But if you can back up your views in, with real life experiences and examples, that's only going to strengthen your resolve. The truth is, if you don't go out and actually make an effort to test your reads with other people, you're not going to be 100% sure that you got it right. Perhaps you were sometimes clouded by your own emotions or insecurities. Perhaps you missed something and you didn't see something correctly. Perhaps you lacked information. So what you want to do as an INFJ is you want to make sure that you can translate what it is that you think inside of yourself with real life experience. And that means having conversations with people about how they feel and about what they are thinking. The most important thing you can ever give another person is agency and freedom. And that means freedom to determine for themselves who they want to be and what they want to do and what the kind of people they want to be. So in giving people ownership of their own emotions and experiences and actions, you're giving people the chance to be their best version of yourself themselves. So in pushing and asserting and telling them that you know better what they feel, or in making decisions for other people without respecting their decision making and personal views, you are making a mistake and you're potentially taking away another person's freedom and agency. So be very, very careful with how you use your powers and feel free to let me know in the comments down below your experiences with this topic. Do you talk to other people when you notice something or pick up on other people's emotions? And how do those conversations go? Thank you so much for watching and see you all in the next video.